the truth, Luke. It's the truth, Luke. It's the truth, Luke. Kind of love. It's the truth, Luke. It's the truth, Luke. It's the truth, Luke. Kind of love. When I thought about this episode for a while, when it comes to Stephen keeping his big picture of his mother Rose, despite the fact that she was Pink Diamond all along, not to mention the stuff that she caused from the series and in the movie, it made me believe that the people in this universe are unable to get rid of something that they can't get over when it comes to the qualities that made them the people that they are today. And for how Stephen had right the wrongs of having his mother, Pink Diamond in this really feels way more complicated to understand for how she caused so much problems and yet at the same time for how She's in a position where she's frowned upon, frowned upon. It's just difficult for her to let go of the qualities that she made. This is gonna be a very, this is going to be a difficult review to talk about, but let's get into the main premise. The zoo man's Tom Pink Time and Zoo into a cruise ship well. J10 is controlling the zoo, and he has a surprise for Steven when it comes to the aftermath of the series and the movie, and you pretty much know what this episode is about, judging by the title. The war's quartzes that have been released from the bubbles with three wanting to get to know Steven, which made Steven uncomfortable. I remember I watched a comic dub involving Steven encountering the Wars Quartz for the first time and he was in extreme depression and anxiety thinking of what his mother went through and after thinking about this episode for quite some time and revisiting it, it sums up that in real life when your loved one or a relative did something so bad that you want nothing to do with them again. And when it comes to the impressions that Steven is dealing with, it's just difficult to move forward from his mother knowing full well that he still likes things about her that aren't Pink Diamond completely. That really makes me feel like that every single character aside from Steven is having a difficult time moving forward with the scenario of the walls is being released from the bubbles. And when it comes to Steven, he wants to be honest with the three Walls Quartzes, but at the same time, knowing full well that the Walls Quartzes were also keeping something from him, this episode really knew what it was doing when it comes to both sides being in a problematic situation. Because just by seeing the Walls Quartz being happy all the time, it really made me feel like that future isn't really charming when it comes to happiness after we watching it because that's why I thought about it when I saw clips of it and the episode of it four years ago. This episode is mostly an excuse to have Holly Blue and the Zoo Man's return along with the other Amethysts that Amethyst made friends out of. But when it comes to the main premise of the episode itself, I can't deny that they're trying to resolve the whole situation involving the multiple walls quarters that were in the bubble, and when they're finally been released in the world where everything has been settled, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to actually see these types of world quotes if they actually had an episode, if this epilogue had 40 episodes rather than 20, because every time I look at the world's quotes, including the three that Steven interact with, they didn't mean to represent of what caused all the chaos in the first place, especially since that Steven didn't glow pink whatsoever in this episode, unlike in other episodes. This is one of the only episodes where he didn't glow pink, which honestly surprises me for how he's willing to handle the situation properly. Granted, I understand that it's weird for him to actually keep the tapes of Wars Quartz along with the picture involving Wars Quartz, but at the same time, like I said before, it's difficult to move forward from a relative that 
made you battle in a different scenario. And even though that Steven it had to take care of the responsibilities of Wall's Court slash Pink Diamond, him taking out his frustration towards the Wall's Courts won't be part of his character. And even though there's going to be a lot of indications in the later episodes, I just feel like that it wouldn't even work in this episode, considering that the Wall's Courts aren't like the Wall's Courts that we all remembered. If you were ever Steven in this episode, even though that you would never have the life as him, it's difficult to go against the people who are look close to your relatives. And for how he handled it throughout the majority of the episode, this is honestly one of his best episodes when it comes to him being mostly in character because this episode would still happen despite the changes that the people would have made in order to make this epilogue better. Which is why I found this episode more interesting for how it aged differently over time. And since that this is becoming five years old, once we head into December, I'm pretty sure people will probably see this episode in a different point of view, unless if they actually saw this review, that is. I'm giving this episode an 8.5 out of 10. Also, putting the picture of voice cards in Lion's Mane next to a tree is a good touch. You. 